Hey guys, so today I'm doing another cancer vlog. Um, I was in New York for a little bit um, doing some scans. And um, scans are just really regular. It's where we do an MIBG scan, we do a CT scan, and then we do some other stuff. Um, oh, and bone marrows, which is basically when they take out the liquid in the spongy stuff in your bones to see if there's any cancer in there and stuff like that so we did that and we got our news and the news wasn't good so originally I really wanted to hold off on telling social media just because I wanted to tell my friends in person and I wanted to tell my loved ones in person and I wanted to tell them myself and I didn't want them to find out from social media or Facebook or Twitter or YouTube um, just because that was the way I was feeling at the time and um, so, um, it was on Facebook already, so we, I was just like, I was kind of upset about that, but I was like, whatever, um, and people were texting me, and like, friends like I've been in a fight with were texting me, and I was just like, girl, no, um, but, anyway, uh, basically, the news came back, you guys know I have neuroblastoma, and I also have a secondary cancer, which is pre-leukemia. It's called, there's like letters for it, but I it's pre-leukemia. And the neuroblastoma is in my bones. No, yes, no, yes. One of them is in my bones, and one of them is in soft tissue, which means like right here. Not in my arm, but there's one right here, and then there's one right here around this area. And um, originally, there where the bone, it was only in like my hips, um, where where the cancer was in the bone. And um, we found out that my soft tissue, whichever the one it was, I think it was, I think it was the neuroblastoma, that soft tissue or the MDS. One of them, this site over here or this site over here, which whichever one, one of them is stable, which it hasn't grown, and one of them has slightly shrunk which is good so one of the cancers is getting better now the other one spread a lot um it's all up and down my spine in the bones and you can see because on the MIBG the day before you get in a nuclear injection and it's basically nuclear dye that helps the cancer light up and um it's all up and down my spine it's in my hips, it's more in my right one, but the day before, like two days before I went, I was, I went crying to my mom and I had shooting, shocking pain in my hip, and I get like pains all the time, like weird pains, but it's like I get them in my joints a lot, um, so my mom just was like, do you want Tylenol for it, and I, you want this you want that for it and I'm, I have a really high tolerance of pain so I don't really like taking anything um except for when I have my bone marrow they're like excruciating to me because I've had them so many times and scar tissue has built up so when they go they like hit scar tissue and it hurts even more anyway I didn't get any pain I didn't want any pain medicine or Tylenol for it so when they told me I have most of it in my right hip I was like oh ha ha um, and I also have it in my skull. And we're going to clarify where it is with a CT tomorrow. Like, we're, the CT scan they usually do on my chest because that's where the soft tissue is. But now they're going to see where exactly where it is on my head. We're probably going to do a full body CT scan to clarify everything. But I really wanted to do this because the whole social media, and I don't want people to get mixed up with any information and in my last like cancer vlog um well my latest one my last one that was like bad news one um I basically said the doctor gave me four months to a year it has been over seven months and I'm still alive so no um <laughs> I I, when I talk to people about the way I feel about death or my cancer, some people are just like, you could like, the way I talk is very explicit 
because I face reality. It's not like, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm happy or something. It's that I face reality, yet I'm very truthful, but I believe that I can fight it, and I believe I can beat the crap out of cancer. Like, I still believe I can totally beat this. Like, people get their sight back from just believing and telling themselves, I can get my sight back. There's people, there's this one chick who had, like, terminal cancer, and she healed herself just by saying, I don't have cancer, I am healthy, and that's, that's just what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't really care what people, I don't really care what people say. I honestly just, people think I'm like, not suicidal, but when I say, say stuff, it just comes out and I'm such a small little person, they'll be like, what? But basically, I don't have a fear of dying. I mean, I'm not looking forward to it, but I just feel like, sorry, I keep touching my nose, I have a scratch. I just feel like when it's my time to go, that'll be my time to go. And I have done everything that I pretty much want to do. I have a bucket list if you guys want to see, if you guys want me to make a video on my bucket list. Um, and I mean, the next steps are really unknown. We were thinking about doing a high-dose chemo. We were thinking about just doing low-dose chemos. We were thinking about doing medium-dose medium chemos. Transplant is pretty much out of the question because I don't want to do that. And <clears throat> I definitely made my mind up about that because from all the stuff I've done and to the where I am right now, I don't want to put myself through that. The most I want to do is a very high dose chemo, which is considered ice. I love you, Bella. Stop barking. Um, and that's what we were gonna maybe do, but I still it's still unknown. And um, I didn't really want the doctors to tell me when they think my life is gonna end or whatever. Cause last time they said forty four months to a year, and I was just I was like, oh, okay. And here I am, so I don't really want to have an expectation of anything. Um, I still believe I can heal myself. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter what the doctors say. They are doctors, but then again, it is my body, and my body is in God's hands. I don't want to sound religious, because I'm not a religious person. I'm a Jewish person that is not religious. My whole family really isn't religious. But when it comes down to health, I believe there's one person that can really help me, and that's God. And I don't want to be any religiousness in the comments, broskies. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't want this to sound like I'm so calm, you know. But I just, I wanted to tell my friends first, but it kind of got out. Um, I, I don't know what else to say, but I'm really going to start picking up my YouTube videos, um, not for any reason, um, aside from I really want to start doing, like, more and more videos, vlogs, tutorials are my main things that I want to do, makeup collection, bucket list, all damn stuff. Also, I'm getting involved in a lot more fundraisers because fundraisers, I kind of got out of the zone of fundraisers when I was first diagnosed the first, like, four years. I was all about them fashion shows and fundraisers, and I kind of got out of it just because I wasn't, like, all the little kids were in there, and I was just like, I'm modeling with little kids. Not that I don't like little kids. I like them sometimes. But, um, I'm definitely going to try to get back into it, and, um, I might be modeling with another YouTuber. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so there's a few, um, things coming up soon. There's Arnie's March, which is a march, whoops, around a golf course for Arnold Palmer. Um, and then there's a few 
stuff coming up. There's like a fashion show coming up that I'm doing with another YouTuber, hopefully. Um, and there's a bunch of things. So if you guys want me to make videos on those, or um, I'll be posting them on my Twitter, I'll be posting them on Instagram and my Facebook. So make sure you like me there in the description box. And um, yeah, I'm on Instagram. Like I'll post 10 pictures a day. So if you don't like your thing blown up, don't follow me. This looks like a little like pinata hat. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, I'll hopefully get to you guys in the description and, I mean, in the comments. And the number one question I get asked is, are you going to die? Yes, I am, and so are you. We all are going to die. It's the circle of life. You see it? It's a circle. It goes round and around. Goes around, coming back around. I thought I told you. Yeah. No. Talia, don't sing. Um, my eyes like tearing up. Alright. So that was my vlog. Basically, my cancer is spread, but I ain't losing hope. Neither should you. I've been doing that lately. Just like random things with my neck. I probably really shouldn't do that because my bone marrow is hurt really bad. <laughs> So yeah, I will try to answer you guys in the comments, and I love you guys so, so much. Like, you guys don't even know. I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't love you, because I literally put you first. Literally. Alright, peace out.